<laughs> Hi, Moo. Hey, cutie patootie. introduce the video yet. I'm Katie, vintage academic, Berkeley student. This is Kaylin, the famous redhead academic. I'm sure you guys all know her. She's beautiful. She's lovely. I'm in Connecticut. We are currently in New Haven. Um, Yale is literally like across the street, which is blowing my mind right now. <laughs> um, I am spending the week on the East Coast with this one and Danielle and, and Chanel, Chanel will be joining us. And we have a fun day planned. We are going to be heading to New York for my the, my first visit to New York ever, even though I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna apply to grad school and move there without having ever seen the city. But we're here. Nice <laughs> the sun is shiny, the tank is clean. Anyways, we're gonna go grab coffee and I'll check in later. Charlie? I'm blind, yeah. And there was, no, there was no conclusions. It was just like, here's a way to look at it. Hey. She knows. On your mark. Get set. <gasps> go, go, go. <laughs> it's the apartment that I've only ever seen on screen before. Hi, Moo. All right, hello everyone. I have showered and been refreshed. It feels amazing because I've been sitting on a plane for literally six hours. Kaylin just finished recording a video. I'm all dressed and ready to go and we're gonna head to New York and I'm so excited, so. I'm so excited. <laughs> Did I show you guys the view yet though real quick before we go? Cause like, it's just insane out there. I'm particularly in love with whatever that building is over there. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, we've made it into Manhattan. We are in Central Park and we are currently taking a stroll headed to a boba shop that Kaylin highly recommends. What's it called? Bibble and Sip. Bibble and Sip to get some boba and enjoy the city. I'll get yourself a friend who will take you around Manhattan, New York when you're planning on moving there but have never been to the city before because this was an awesome trip for me. Kaylin took me to all the cool places, we saw all the cool things, we spent a lot of Eat time first. in Central Park <laughs> and I had my first New York what hot dog. Think? <laughs> Yeah, try the drink. <laughs> also, having grown up in a small rural town in Central California, I've never been on a subway, or a train for that matter, so she made sure to take me on the subway, so I was familiar before I had to, again, move to New York for my master's program. And we spent some time shopping, having good food, and all around having an amazing time. It was wonderful. I'm so glad I went. It's Thursday. I didn't really finish vlogging yesterday. We got home and we were so exhausted. We walked something like 20,000 steps yesterday, but I'm here with My Kaylin. My legs are destroyed. And Chanel is here too. We're currently on our way to a coffee shop because we all have work to get done. It's, we had fun yesterday. It's back to the grind today. So I'm so excited to get a chai and a breakfast sandwich. Finish my folklore paper. <laughs> I'm gonna go enjoy my time with these lovely ladies. I'll check in later, bye. So Chanel 
off back to Kaylin's place to take a nap. Kaylin is off to a meeting with one of her um, committee members, exam inter examiners, one of those PhD things, and I got a second coffee. I'm still hanging out with my folklore paper, trying to um, flesh out the sources and fix the writing because it's a jointly written paper between 10 people, so cheers. Alright, I finished up at the coffee shop and headed back to Caitlin's apartment where we are going to pack up and head to Danielle's house in Pennsylvania. I'm really glad that I took the time to sit down and take a look at the paper for my folklore class, our project, before we submitted it because it needed some serious work. In reviewing it, I remembered how cool of a project it was like we had to do a folkloric study of material culture based on something that had to do with the pandemic we decided to look at freely accessible online like pdf face mask patterns um sewing patterns try and look at the way that like a folkloric skill aka sewing has been like adapted its transmission in response to the pandemic and looking at its temporal spread its spatial spread who's making them who's using them as well as like variations in masks and what that says about certain folk groups so it was really interesting and I was doing some additional knowledge to kind of like beef out our sources and there was a lot about like computational folklore and the way folklore itself is adapting to respond to the transmission of folklore on the internet and it was all really interesting and I want to read more but I didn't have time because the paper's like due tomorrow so I just had to like do some quick research <laughs> and pull stuff from like introductions and abstracts so hopefully it was good enough but yeah I don't talk nearly enough about like my actual homework and the research that I do, just because this last semester has been overwhelming as it's my last one at Berkeley. Anyways, I'm heading back to the apartment. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later. We're gonna try and get that inside of Kaylin's car. Ready, Kaylin? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> everyone so clearly we are no longer driving anymore because <gasps> the whole gang's here i just finally met dr daniel lawson in real life and i could not be more excited and i'm sorry because i thought i'd be able to vlog this on my camera but someone has commandeered it for a new toy and won't give it back to me to charge the battery so katie did katie admittedly offered, katie did admittedly offer it i offered it without being fully informed on what it entailed so i mean you offered it to kaylin and so and okay, uh, my apologies. The victim should have assumed. <laughs> <laughs> but there is also currently an accountability workshop going on behind me and they can see me vlogging, which and I feel like weirdly uncomfortable about. So <gasps> there's a cat. I've been obsessed with Daniel's cats for forever. And now I race with them. I'm so happy I finally get to see you. Hold yeah. the gimbal at an incline to ensure accurate results. Chanel, how are you doing with your allergies? I'm gonna wash everything off my body so I can stop sneezing. There you go. Chanel also made the mistake of just like... Yes. <laughs> cat hair Immediately. <laughs> I love that cat so much, Danielle. He's okay, and Danielle, how do you feel about meeting me in person for the first time? Everything I wanted and more. <laughs> do I exceed expectations? I mean, that is your name, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go, move. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are in State College at Danielle's house. As you saw, I was very excited. Still am. 
Um, we are currently on our way to get some coffee for everybody. Got Moo in the background. <laughs> Moo is hilarious. She's afraid of the cats and afraid of the hardwood floors. So trying to get her to go anywhere in Danielle's house is <laughs> very <chore>. funny. <laughs> you can tell this one's my coffee because it's the only one that's not iced when it's raining outside. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I got the call of my people. They said I was missing out on making key content. Do you guys need some help? Beep yes. beep. Beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, let me sit up. Because I think Chanel. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect pillow. Perfect. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to vlog. It's gonna be very amazing, but I <laughs> Chanel's amazing. Oh my god, it wasn't freaking recording again. Oh no! <laughs> Hello. So not only does Chanel ma manage your life and make accepted, like, manageable, but she's also an amazing cook, and she takes care of us. All right, hello everybody. It's currently 4.45 p.m., um, so it's been a while since I've last checked in. No. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hello. Um, I don't want her presence to be known. <laughs> it's okay, I'm here for it. I finished up the accountability workshop and worked on my media studies paper, which I'm trying to just like eke out the last 500 words so I can stop thinking about it and submit it so I can finally be done with my undergraduate degree. But uh, in doing so, while I was doing that, Kaylin and Chanel both fell asleep on the couch for like two straight hours and have only like recently woken up. And now we are apparently heading downtown to do what? Get boba! Oh, I didn't realize it was a boba place. I'm yeah, excited it's the now. Obsessed with. Ah, I am at 1,400 words out of 1,800, so I only have 400 more to go, which I'm going to stick on my conclusion, and then I will be done for real. I forgot to vlog it because I was filming it on my phone for TikTok, but this one right here. Is done with her degree. I signed. I signed in. I submitted my last assignment for my bachelor's degree ever today. 1,822 words of a seven-page paper about a topic I know nothing about and did not write well. Hey, it's completed. And that's it's completed. Uh, in celebration, the three of us are gonna go get some boba. I was just scratching my nose while you were doing that. That was not cute. <laughs> and then when we get back, we will be working on accepted society stuff. Yay! And filming content. She's a grad! <laughs> I will actually earn my degree now. <laughs> We're having an absolutely chaotic morning. I have to leave for my flight in like an hour, and we are in Belfont taking photos instead of packing and getting ready to leave. So that's really all I have for this video. Um, it was a bit of a chaotic day, and I ended up not really filming much when I went home on my flight. So thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for future New York City grad school adventures. <laughs>